Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Climate shakeup. Kerry steps down as Biden's envoy. Tech giants Google, Amazon, and Unity start 2024 with layoffs. In the EV realm, Chinese maker BYD in talks with Sigma Lithium. Meanwhile, Disney and NFL are in negotiations that could change the game for ESPN. On the aviation front, Alaska Airlines ramps up quality controls on Boeing 737 production. In healthcare breakthroughs, keep an eye out for first RSV shots and groundbreaking gene therapy among 2024's drugs to watch. Financially speaking, J.P. Morgan Chase anticipates an 8% expense hike due to expansion, inflation, and tech in 24, while our materials sector weekly roundup sees WD-40 topping the list with Sigma Lithium at bottom. Stay tuned after this short ad break to delve deeper into these headlines. John Kerry is anticipated to step down from his position as President Biden's climate envoy in the upcoming spring. His departure comes after playing a pivotal role in brokering an international agreement on transitioning away from fossil fuels. In other news, the Biden administration is suggesting imposing penalties on oil and gas corporations for their methane emissions. The proposed fines would commence at $900 per metric ton in 2024, with a potential increase to $1,500 by 2026. The manufacturer of electric vehicles from China, BYD, is currently in discussions with Sigma Lithium, a lithium producer based in Brazil. The talks are centered around a possible acquisition or supply agreement. This development comes on the heels of Sigma's recent announcement that it is exploring strategic alternatives and has plans to list on both the Nasdaq and Singapore Stock Exchange. In related news, BYD has declared its expansion into the Indonesian market following a significant 62% increase in sales during the previous year. It is reported that Walt Disney Company and the National Football League are in advanced discussions regarding a potential equity swap deal. This arrangement could result in NFL acquiring a stake in ESPN, while ESPN may gain control over NFL media, which includes the NFL network. The agreement has not been finalized yet and neither party has chosen to comment on the matter. Alaska Airlines is increasing the intensity of quality control inspections on its Boeing 737 MAX 9 aircraft in response to a Madeira emergency that occurred earlier this month. In collaboration with Boeing, the airline is expanding its team to provide improved supervision over aircraft production. This action is taken as the Federal Aviation Administration conducts an investigation into an incident where a metal panel was blown out from a plane operated by Alaska Airlines, which necessitated an emergency landing. The Drugs to Watch report for the year 2024, published by data analytics company Clarivate, features 13 innovative drugs. These include the first-ever vaccines for RSV and a distinctive gene therapy. It is projected that these drugs will yield over $1 billion in yearly sales within a span of five years. The list comprises Ilia, an eye disease treatment from Regeneron, Budesonide from Calidatus Therapeutics for adults suffering from immunoglobulin A nephropathy, and Datopotamab Deruxtecan, a cancer therapy by AstraZeneca. Pfizer and GSK, a genus respiratory syncytial virus vaccines Abrisvo and Erexvi are also highlighted in the report. Additionally, CRISPR Therapeutics, Vertex Pharma's gene therapies CASTV and Lifgenia for inherited blood disorders are featured. In the year 2024, technology companies persist in reducing their workforce. Google has verified layoffs within its voice assistant, hardware, and engineering departments. The co-founders of Fitbit are also on their way out of the company. Unity Software is making a significant cut of 25% to its staff, affecting approximately 1,800 employees. Amazon is strategizing to eliminate several hundred positions from its media division while Xerox plans a workforce reduction by 15%. All these changes are happening while the U.S. unemployment rate remains at an almost half-century low of 3.7%. J.P. Morgan Chase, the biggest bank in the United States, predicts an adjusted expense of $90 billion for the year 2024. This is a rise of $7 billion compared to the previous year. The increase is attributed to business growth and the expansion of its consumer and community banking division. 
The bank also intends to persist with branch expansion and marketing initiatives while sustaining investment in technology across all divisions. Even with enthusiasm surrounding AI possibilities, J.P. Morgan stresses on a disciplined strategy rather than pursuing trends. In the past week, there was a minor decrease in the S&P 500 materials sector by 0.46%. Gold futures experienced their most significant daily increase since mid-December, driven by concerns over conflicts in the Middle East. Despite hitting a one-month low on Wednesday, copper ended the week on a positive note. The top performers were WD-40 Company and Osisco Gold Royalties. On the other hand, Sigma Lithium and Sociedad Comico y Minera de Chile found themselves among the biggest losers. Thank you for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay invested. Until next time, keep turning ideas into actions. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. See you later, until tomorrow comes around. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.